Deontay, when that final bell rang, it seemed like you felt you did enough to get the win, did you? Yeah, I did, but, you know, my, my timing was off a little bit. And, um, you know, uh, big up to Joseph. He did a great job um, avoiding a lot of my punches. Um, we make no excuses tonight, you know what I mean? Uh, it was a good fight, and uh, we move on to the next thing. What went wrong for you out there? You said your timing was off. You've been inactive, except for one round over the last two years. Do you think that played a part in this? It could have, you know, um, but we're not going to base it off of that. Um, we're just going to go in. We, we, we did what we did, and um, we move on to the next. You know what I mean? We, we live to see another day, and that's what it's all about. And I'm um, just ready to go home to my children, you know what I mean, and love all over them. You've seen a lot of Joseph Parker over the years. What was your strategy coming into this fight? Because it felt like you wanted to move a lot more than we've seen you move in the past. Yeah, most definitely, just to stay calm and um, throw a couple of jabs and, uh, and set up the right hand and stuff like that. Like, again, again like I said, time was off a little bit. Um, he did a good job of boarding and ducking and stuff like that. Um, you know, I did feel like I, 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 I had the upper hand. But, you know, things happen. Like I said, you move on to the next day. Today is my daughter's birthday. So, uh, inshallah, did I make it and see her. And, um, like I said, we move on to the next step. There was a lot of talk during the week about you and Anthony Joshua. Was that in any way a distraction for you coming into this fight? Just a little bit. You know, it's a lot of talk about different things. But, you know, we're making no excuses tonight, man. It was a great crowd. I enjoy being here in Riyadh, baby. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting the car. And we'll be back for sure. You said you'll be back. I know you want to go home and spend time with your family over the holidays. But at 38, do you still want to be in this game? Do you want to rebuild? How do you want to approach your career? We'll see what happens. You know, we, we, we have a little bit more left. And, um, but, um, you know, I've done a great job with uh, managing my money, investing. And, uh, we, you know, I'm a happy fighter. You know what I'm saying? We go in here and do what we do. And we go home and leave and, and, and spread love to the family and all our loved ones. And uh, on to the next. I'm a warrior, so I'll be back soon. And if not, then it's been an enjoyment. It's been a pleasure. And I appreciate everybody for the love and the support that they've been giving me for over the years. Well, you know yourself. I mean, you clawed your way to the top from the Olympics to world championship. Do you still have that same fire you used to? I don't know. You know, a lot has calmed me down. You know, uh, <laughs> I've done out of ayahuasca. I've been in Rhythmia and done out of ayahuasca. I've found a lot of peace in my life. I found a lot of happiness in my life. I've been wearing this smile all week long, and I'm gonna still wear it. Win, lose, or draw, I'm gonna wear my smile all week long because I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. And um, I don't think nothing can stop me on that, you know what I mean? Um, uh, that's what it's all about, being a warrior going in and giving it all you got. And uh, if, you, if, you, if, if you come up short hand, you just get back up and you keep trying. That's, that's what life is all about. Um, falling and getting back up, falling and getting back up. You can't quit. You can't give up. You must keep going. For we all have greatness in us. For greatness is only determined by service. And I'm going to continue to apply my service, baby.